Hi, this is Mark Shores from Renshaw Library in the Miami University Hamilton campus. This short tutorial is about how to use the Opposing Viewpoints in Context database to find pro-con sources for maybe an English paper or for a uh, informative speech. So starting out on the Renshaw Library website, you'll find Opposing Viewpoints in a couple of places. One is on our Research Databases page. This is just an A to Z listing of all the databases that we subscribe to and offer to students. You also find it under the Research by Subject category, either under Communications or under English. And if you want to access this from home, you would just get to this page and then log in with your Miami ID and password. So Posing Viewpoints makes it really easy to uh, get ideas for what to write about or also to begin searching for topics. To, to browse for ideas, just use the Browse Issues heading here, here up at the top of the page. This gives you an alphabetical list of possible topics that are covered, everything from uh, addiction down to renewable energy and many, many others. Or you can begin to search. I'm going to type in the word vaccine and as you begin typing this will give you suggestions. And the very first one is in bold. I'm going to click on that one. And then this gives me a page with a bunch of sources about different aspects of vaccines. We've got things like featured viewpoints, statistics, news articles, magazine articles, reference books, even, even websites. Each one of these is a separate source that you could use in your assignments. And the nice thing is that all, all of these sources exist somewhere in print. So while we are using the internet to access them, they do not count as an internet source. One thing to note, though, is that this category called Academic Journals, even though there are 425 of these listed here, many of these sources are not true peer-reviewed scholarly academic journals. They happen to be just longer, more in-depth articles. So if your professor wants you to use peer-reviewed scholarly articles, you may have to go use a different database like Academic Search Complete. So if I click on any of these links now, I'll be able to see the full text of these sources. Probably the best part of this is the featured viewpoints and the viewpoints part at the very top. It shows you three or four of these at a time. I can click on view all to see all of those exact sources. So each one of these are articles that exist in print somewhere. We happen to have access to them through the online uh, database. And the viewpoints are typically um, articles that are anywhere from 500 to 1,000 words in length. And these um, are taking a, a specific stance on some aspect of your topic. All the way at the bottom, this will give you further reading, so books and articles that you could also go find and cite in your assignment. And all the way at the very bottom is a source citation. And this is already in MLA style. What many students do is they email sources to themselves at the very top using this email function. Put in your email address. And you have to put in your address in both the sender email and the two box. And this will email me the text of the article along with the MLA style citation. Click send. And these articles arrive within a few seconds to your email inbox. You also have options here for downloading the actual article, for bookmarking it, sharing it in social media, or printing it out. You also find content like interactive maps, videos, images, um, audio news. These tend to be stories from National Public Radio and such. Links to other uh, topics that are related. 
So it's a lot of good content in opposing viewpoints. All right, hope this has been helpful and best of luck with your assignment.